I'm gonna restart that. <laughs> I'm a professional guys, I'm professional here. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to uh, a video talking about uh, Kingdom Hearts in 2024. I thought it'd be fun to um, kind of round up people's thoughts and ideas and um, do a stream about it, so. That was good, right? That was good, yeah. Kingdom Hearts x Balan, Balan Wonderland or Wonderworld, whatever it's called? No. Don't need that, no thank you. <laughs> so I'll, um, I'll go through Twitter first and then we'll get onto YouTube and then uh, Discord. And then we'll probably look at some on Twitch. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, YouTube, you're watching this later, you're missing out. Because there'll be cuts and, and there'll be super fun, interesting things happening between the cuts. Mark my word. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, let's get on with it. So yeah, I said I want specifics. What worlds, characters, gameplay segments are you hoping to see? Um, I think some people like respond to this. Elise, if you guys don't know Elise. Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, if you guys don't know Elise, Great streamer. I think they're gonna try to do some YouTube videos on Kingdom Hearts, so definitely go give her a follow. So Atlantis World making me very happy. I think it has so much potential. Yes! Atlantis? I have always wanted the Atlantis. I love that. Hey Xylus, how you doing? There was this game actually. Oh, did anyone play this? Okay, this is... <laughs> Dude, this game was great. I was so bad at it. Already getting distracted. Isn't that great? Treasure Planet would be so good for the IP is so old now. Yeah, okay, so I have an idea that I think it'd be such a cool world for, um, to have like a Keyblade glider for Sora. I think it'd just be so cool. And I've been, I've been cooking up an idea because I wanted to do, I wanted to do this series where I talked about different worlds I wanted to see in Cage 4. Then I did one and then I got distracted. <laughs> uh, but that's the next one I want to do is um, one on Treasure Planet. Uh, Lilo and Stitch world where we surf with Stitch. Yeah, I guess, have we even gone? I, we've only seen Stitch in deep space, right? And then we've been able to summon him. Three words, sore in Fortnite. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, Nathan Gamer Play says, I would love to see either one of these worlds, Cusco World, Star Wars World, kind of confirm that into the trailer, or alternative alternative Pirate World Treasure Planet. Yay, Treasure Planet. We were just talking about that. Cusco, as in like the Emperor's the crew? I wonder how that would work. Like, would we also appear as llamas <laughs> next next to uh, uh, next to the emperor? Uh, for gameplay, I really want a segment uh, where we play as Riku, but it's full length worlds, like every other world, to flesh out the Disney story. I want Yazora to find Sora after saying he'd save him. Um, and I'd like to know why Sora is frozen in the DLC. Actually, uh, kind of funny timing for the for the background music because this is Final Fantasy 13, which is all about like Lassie. Uh, if you guys don't know, spoilers. Okay, actually. <laughs> We're gonna take another break. Okay, if you haven't seen 13, you might not want to watch this. Um, but this is very interesting if we watch this side by side with um, with the Sora. Ah, oh, my heart is not up, boy. Leave it to me. Uh, this hurts my heart too bad. Dude. I'll save everyone. Ah. <laughs> And it's old school Final Fantasy like this. We're, ah, it, and it's not even that old school. Well, like, it's it's been a couple years, but if you think about it, like this is like three three mainline games. But this is so good. She's. Ah. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I gotta stop it. I'm gonna start crying. And then here's. <coughs> Sorry, but I don't lose. Right? Kind of weird. Right? Right? Oh, chills. Chills. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay. Oh, oh that transition to the court. Woo. Okay, 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 okay. And we're not just going to react to stuff all night, I swear. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Anyways. Um, Worlds, I want Raya, The Last Dragon, and Luca. Oh, those are, I haven't heard of those before. I mean, I, I've watched them, but I haven't heard people like want them. Raya, right? because while the movie was only okay, the world building was great, and that's a world I want to run around in. Luca, because I love Luca. I love Luca. Luca is a great movie. I think there'll be a central hub where we can access the new worlds. Will it be like a, uh, from exploring space like in previous? I don't know, that's a good question. Um, I, part of me wonders if like, uh, Quadratum is gonna be like the hub world. Honestly, like I haven't read many interviews or like looked too much into um, 
like the the publications and uh, the information that we have about Kingdom Hearts 4. I just got burnt out like so bad on interviews and marketing. Okay, um, Crystal Teakel, Dandelion's Drew from Union Cross, Ephemer, the protagonist in Scold, so excited for Missing Link. I, I am actually like really excited for Missing Link. Really, really hope that it, it it's long and lives long. Neo, The World Ends With You World, Minami Moto as a secret boss, the wicked choices of week two as characters. Oh, okay, that'd be interesting. Uh, Star Wars World during the prequels and you explore them with Riku so that Anakin's fall to darkness can parallel to the one Riku almost had. Ooh, I would like that. I always had this idea and I've, I've said it before, but I want like Sora to like be in a Star Wars world. world. Can't talk straight. And uh, there's like a, it's like a shadow in the corner, right? And, and he hears something, he looks in the corner and you see this cloaked figure start to walk forward. And then like a like Darth Vader turns slight super on, but Sora just thinks it's Zemnis because like his like similar blades, right? Wouldn't that be awesome? Boop. All right, so Sora's over here. It's all gonna come together. You'll see my vision. God damn it! All right, it's a shadow. It's all dark. Sora squinting his eyes. It's like what? What is that in the darkness? All right, and then and then here's. Here comes Darth Vader. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> he's gonna be he's gonna be in the shadows, right? So then so right, he's in the shadows. Right? Right, 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 right. He's like, <gasps> Zamdis! And then and then and then he steps out and da 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 and then the music starts up. <laughs> oh my god. Wouldn't that be cool though? Wouldn't that be so cool? I swear, I won't I won't launch off into something every time we read one of these. LM says, some Cage 4 announcement or even a trailer at some point, hopefully release date after 7 Rebirth launch. And I hope Riku gets a new outfit. I, yeah, I hope so too. Um, yeah, I think, so the way that I, I see it is, um, as soon as like Rebirth starts wrapping up its marketing, I, I genuinely think we'll start seeing um, Kingdom Hearts 4 uh, marketing coming out. My top wish is to see what Riku's gonna look like in Cage 4. Gotta see his second threads. Yeah. I went Treasure Planet. Yeah, there's tre Treasure Planet again. There's the world in Cage 4. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Monk, plus Clarabelle Cow Dragoon. <laughs> As party members while Don and Goofy are looking for Sora. That'd be fun. I wanna see Oswald um, show up in some way. I imagine everyone in Cage 4 wears their Super Groupies outfits. What is Sora's? Sora Super Groupies. Because his is just the Cage 3 clothes? That looks good. That looks real good. Okay. Um, Titan says PC release for Missing Link. Yes, I really hope that we get mobile. Version on like Steam or something for Missing Link would be so. Like that would increase longevity for. Oh, that would be incredible for it. And they're already doing it for um, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. So, like, it sets a precedent. A clear review on how Reaction Man's will work in Cage 4 and obviously Cage 4 trailers. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, the um, there are going to be uh, Reaction Commands in some form or fashion. I, and I see, I think I remember them talking about including more. So uh, people think that this part here, I mean, obviously this is a tech demo, right? The tech demo, probably all this was recreated in some engine. Uh, as like a proof of concept. So we can't take any of this to be like, this is exactly what it's gonna look like, right? Um, but uh, this, people think, right? Like that button in the center. Beep, 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 Right, this button in the middle. It has some cool like little spinning effects around it. And we still have our Keyblade, right? So it's not like a transformation like we saw with Cage. Cage 3. I'm not gonna stop every time I break things down. Proceed to stop and break things down. I can't help it. <laughs> uh, super boss. Um, <laughs> oh man! If you guys don't know this lovely, lovely man, Xenos was—I don't know. Xenos was a character I didn't super love in Stormblood, but then he, he definitely grew on me. Uh, it's a long shot, but I'd like—I really like the announcement of a non-mobile game between Missing Link and Four. Oh, something to help th set things up better for Four, and maybe involve the other characters that were left hanging. Oh, I'd love if they re reworked and remade the UX Dark Road Saga for console. I didn't think about that. Okay, actually though, you know what? There is that um, roadmap. Do you guys remember that roadmap? This one. Um, okay, anyway, so it has an arrow that points up to Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, um, which then points down to something, which then points up to 
uh, Dark Road, I think? And here's Melody of Memory. Um, and there are these games that like happen, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, right? So there's something, This is, and it says up here, right, Kingdom Hearts Series, second phase. So I don't know if this is still like something they want to work on, or if this just kind of got thrown out the window. But then Missing Link, I think, fits here, right beside Melody of Memory. And then Kingdom Hearts 4, then leads into something else. I, honestly, I don't know. It does... I, I just hope that when Kingdom Hearts starts, you know, picking up speed for Kingdom Hearts 4, that we start seeing some more, like, conversation about games and, and their plan and... Uh, what is this song? This is from Haikyuu. This is above from Haikyuu. A couple more Q&As or interviews revealing more info about Kingdom Hearts 4 and Missing Link. Reveal of a Kingdom Hearts anime. That would be interesting. I don't think that'll happen. It would be nice, though. They drop a Neo Tori world, and it's part of the trailers, so and by an extension, a window and store team up. Hell oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be so cool, actually. Uh, if you guys don't know the, the voice actor for, uh, for Rindo, um, he's cool, one of the coolest people um, I've got to meet. And uh, that would, I, I would love that, because he loves Kingdom Hearts. He's actually releasing a uh, Kingdom Hearts song that he, he like sung on. I'll link that um, if I can find it. Just like, he's just somebody that has like a very, like a very infectious personality. The trailer may be missing Link releasing, and for the game in itself, a double story with Sora and Quadrata meeting Final Fantasy and Druid characters, while Riku or Roxas searches Sora in Disney and Star Wars worlds. That would be cool. That would be cool. I honestly, and I'll probably see this more as we, we scroll down, I would love to see more Square Enix IPs in Kingdom Hearts. I don't know how they would like really go about getting that through, but... Um, I think that'd be really cool. Trailer for Cage 4, something uh, Neo Turi within K Kingdom Hearts. A lot, of, a lot of Neo Turi. I feel like Neo, uh, the one ends of the year in general is very cool, cool classic. Now, honestly, I want to see more Square Enix rep in Kingdom Hearts 4, like a Dragon Quest world or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really want a Milana world. They would have a perfect plotline with the heart of Defeaty. It's perfect. Yeah, no, I agree. I'd love to see Milana. And it'd be an interesting water world. Like, I feel like um, the Pirates world, even though I didn't like the, the Caribbean story, um, like, it's just in terms of, like, it just, they didn't utilize the world in the best way, I think. Because you could get all the crabs just by searching through that first town, and then you go straight to the boss, pretty much. Um, but then when you complete the world and you're going back and you're searching through all the islands, it's really fun to, like, explore and do that. So if they could, like, integrate Moana, uh, and, like, exploring the islands as you're, you know, traveling to put the heart back, that'd be cool. I'd like that. Uh, Kingdom Hearts fighting game, or some more than Dragon Ball Fighters. I would love a fighting game. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Uh, specifics coming up. I would like a world based on the Automata. Automata? I don't know how you say that. That was a good game, though. Uh, fights with at least one of the four tellers in Kingdom Hearts 4. I want to see more on Missing Link regarding story and worlds and character customization. A proper port of Kingdom Hearts for the Switch and some Baram Rex. I was convinced we would see a fight against one of the four tellers, I think in Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, I think, I don't know, there was some video I made that was like, oh, this would be so cool to see. Like, how do we fight against an actual, not an actual Keyblade Master, but like a Keyblade Master of old. It would be so cool. Buy a Roxas boss fight when? I feel like if they ever, like, would work, I don't know, actually, it'd be interesting. Because now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever, like, obviously I've worked with Square Enix. But I wonder if, like, <laughs> I wonder if it ever gets to a point of, like, it becomes copyright infringement, or like they worry that it becomes copyright infringement. It's like I've tried to shift my avatar and stuff away from just like Roxas, but like I mean, I still have the name Roxas in my head. So like anyone that looks at my character and my like my my brand is gonna be like, oh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, out of curiosity, where did the bio party name come from? It came from Bioshock. Final Fantasy characters make their grand return, specifically hoping for an older Titus, not just somebody even lightning. I want lightning so bad. I want lightning so bad in Kingdom Hearts. I just want more lightning in general. Like, I, uh, oh, for those of you that don't know, tomorrow, um, or today when I post this, uh, I am going to be uh, streaming Lightning Returns. Uh, Bahamut summon would be awesome. Can you imagine, like, just like <laughs> having Bahamut beside you? <laughs> that would be insane. I really want more lore on the Foretellers and Lushu, like how they became the Melody of, Mem uh, the Melody of Memory. The Master of Masters and Princesses and how he found them. I also really want to see Vanitas again. He deserves a redemption arc. I don't think we'll see a redemption arc for Vanitas. 
I really don't. Like, I think, uh, I think he'll, like, I think Vanitas will be back, for sure. Um, but it, it's gonna be, he's, he's one of the darknesses, right? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't really think we beat him in Cage 3. Um, I hope Sora and Yozora get a fitting conclusion to the fight they had in Cage 3 is cool, but I want a satisfying end for them before the game ends. I am so interested in how, how Nomura is gonna, like, tackle Yozora. Cause there's a there's a very interesting like he wants him to be the polar opposite or like the, the mirror to Sora and I wonder like how much is that gonna play into it like are they gonna have like the exact same experiences or is it like right uh, it's just it's so interesting because it's like okay you want this to be the what is it like the dark sky is Sora and Sora is sky there was something where it was like it's like a mirror um, and it's like does that mean everything is mirrored. Because, like, Yuzora lost his person, Sora lost Kairi, but Kai like, he gets Kairi back. So it's like, what... What are you, what are you doing here? I want a solid five-minute trailer. Would That would be insane. Can you imagine a five-minute trailer? That would be crazy. Missing Link trailer. Any hint of Cloud and Sephiroth would be cool, because I want to close your this subplot. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that in Cage 2 they just had that happen, but they just never talked about it again. I would die. If there was a gameplay trailer with like three minutes of gameplay, I would die. That would be so... <laughs> I get stressed out. Like I haven't even made content on Re uh, Rebirth because it's been so stressful for me to see all of the different con like combat options. And I just got like frozen. When the Wayfire and Trudy redesigns new clothes, Nominee and Roxas should get new clothes. Uh, but for Ventus, I want him to change a ton to look way different than Roxas. Because Union Cross haircut, dyed hair, colored contacts, and new clothes. That would be crazy. Can you imagine? They, like this random character walks up and they're like, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm bad. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? That'd be funny. I feel I hope with uh, the trailers for Cage 4 they, they do a little bit less of uh, spoiling. I feel like the trailers for Rebirth, I don't know, Rebirth's weird because everyone knows what happens in Final Fantasy 7 at this point. And so like that's that's going to be a big focus point. But like, the interviews for Seven Rebirth are crazy. Like, I just stopped reading them. I stopped interacting and like reading any of the interviews because the, the trailers have been like fine-ish. They've been like, I mean, like there's only so much you can spoil on a game that's been out for so long. Um, but the, tr the interviews are crazy. Uh, I hope Keyblade transformations, transformations make a return fighting with weapons other than a sword is refreshing in Cage 3. Uh, bring back non-elemental magic. Also give Sora customizable outfits. Yes. I want to, um, I would love non-elemental magic. I would love magic that is different, right? In Cage 1, I think they did a, a really good job of, like, having different, um, different, like, abilities and, like, support utility to your magic, especially, like, arrow, or blizzard, right? Like these things that <clears throat> weren't just like a straight projectile, um, but were like something that you could use to uh, to benefit you. Would love to see the progress I'm making with the game. Maybe an avatar elemental world would be le uh, legit. -ness. Oh, elemental, I know, I, I know that came out. I didn't see anyone talk about that game, a uh, movie. I'd like to see Azor's true appearance, and I would like to see who our party members are gonna be. I guess we can see that. Yeah, so in, in the end of Remind, we, uh, Azor makes the point of like, this is not what I really look like. And you're like, what? I'd love to hear more of Cage 4, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Uh, however, I do hope that Missing Link is fun. Give us something to hold ourselves over. I'm so, like, genuinely so excited for Missing Link. Um, just having, like, a, a community-focused game, like a, like a gacha or, like, the online, is just going to be so cool. I feel like Final Fantasy Worlds would be cool, such as Spiral Midgar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, yeah, like, visiting Midgar would be really cool. Maybe I'm asking too much, but I want a Kingdom Hearts game that provides more answers than questions. Dream Drop Distance and Cage 3 introduce so much new stuff that is yet to be explained properly. Just want answers. Why are the numbers 7 and 13 so important in so many Kingdom Hearts? Why them and not any other two random numbers? Why does using the power of waking too much send you to Quadratum? Who was responsible for the laws of nature regarding time travel? Is it just a nature thing? Is it just nature itself that sends you to another dimension? If you do a specific thing? I don't think so. This should be explored more deeply. What is the meaning of Crystal Deaths? She now became a crystal when she died. Kairi 2 
why. I gotta say, I think lots of people initially thought it was ice, but crystal would make so much more sense to me, like with scene 13. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna probably blocking some of this. Uh, what are of the other Skalad Kylam? And lastly, I hope Ventus and the other characters fully remember their past life as we move across. A lot, of, there is a lot of questions. Um, yeah, I think like diving more into the power of waking and fleshing that out would be very interesting. Um, they talk a little bit about it and they kind of just like hand wave. They just like casually talk about it. Um, but I think learning more about the power of waking would be interesting, which I think we'll need to know because like Riku has to use it to get to Sora. Um, and I'm sure it'll come into play when they're trying to get back. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll turn it down a little bit. That better? I'm, not, I'm only playing, but if we get a bluey world. <laughs> Can you imagine? They actually, the, the, the artist, one of the artists for Bluey is a Kingdom Hearts fan and he made a Kingdom Hearts Bluey Keyblade. There we go. Isn't that cool? Sorry in advance for writing a book. Let's see. As far as worlds are concerned, I've always wanted Treasure Planet and Atlantis to get in. I think that's been the common theme. You're gonna say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hope it's hope it started off good. Uh, but I think now would be a fantastic time to do Atlantis in particular. There are a lot of events in the movie that connect the current Kingdom Hearts really well. Sora shows up in Quadrata and may have accidentally brought darkness with him, much like Milo showing up in Atlantis and accidentally bringing war. Oh, not to mention uh, Master Masters is probably also an unwelcome invader from another world. There's all the stuff with the heart of Atlantis. There's the crystals and Kida being chosen by and temporarily turning into a crystal, which is not only very Final Fantasy in the first place, but also typical, uh, topical considering the battery into a rewind. The mm. Shepherd's Journal from Atlantis was missing a page from work being, because work ripped it out, kind of reminding you of in back cover when Ma Master Masters ripped out a page in the Book of Prophecies. I'm probably the only person to point that would say this since people have largely the negative reception of the Square Enix Avengers game, but if they were to include the Avengers and not do the MCU, that'd be a solid alternative considering that it was also a collaboration between the two companies. Other than that, Shalitzi and maybe even Luxor as a party member would be cool. I would also say Azor, but I feel like that would be too good to be true and they'd probably wait for him to have a separate game. Unlike, uh, unlikely for anyone except for Riku, but Quadratum versions of the other Kingdom Hearts characters would be really cool also. Imagine Quadratum, Aqua, and Terra. Yeah, so many people want Treasure Planet and Landis. So those are like the two, two ones I keep seeing. Uh, even though it's kind of meme to hell and back, I honestly would like at least for them to give us like a crumb or something like that as to what is in the black box, or heck, maybe have Sora meet the Master Masters at one point during 4, even if it's not directly. Can you imagine if like, okay, actually, how cool would it be if, um, if Sora meets the Master Masters, and it's like some like throwaway comment, right? Like near the beginning, or like just a conversation that he's having with somebody, and then like right at the end, they drop that that was the Master Masters, that would be so cool. <laughs> or there's like all these different like points where he meets different people, and you find out that that's been like Lushu or the Master Masters just following him. That would be crazy. Really hoping we'll get a more angry sword like he'll actually show his emotions. More not in short bursts like we've seen over the franchise, but like full on segments of the game. That would, yeah, I would love that. I would honestly love to see more of like just diving into Sora. And, uh, or, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see <clears throat> not him so much like losing it, but just him dealing with some of those like less, some of those less fun emotions, you know? So, definitely agree. My biggest ones are just the bits and bobs of what makes combat fun for me. Uh, I, and I've, I've talked about this a number of times now, but I would love to see a Kingdom Hearts game that shifts more towards like Final Fantasy job system combat. Where like, you know, Sora, like in Kingdom Hearts 3, right, like Sora has like the, um, the Dragoon Lance, right? And he does some of like the jumps and stuff and it's really cool, but like, I want to see more. <laughs> I'd love to see more. Like, can you imagine a uh, like a, a ninja Sora, right, with like double blades, or um, I don't even know, <laughs> like a black mage, or like some kind of like mage casting stuff. Like that'd just be so cool. Yeah, just like a job system where I, where you have different jobs that you can switch between, rather than like only having like 30 second forms. See, and, and this is the other thing, because I, I, I know people were scared about like the Unreal Engine 5 or like the realistic look, but like, they definitely still have the Kingdom Shader. 
<clears throat> There's just gonna be certain worlds, like we've seen in other games. Let's end it here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, ideally, hey, more how you doing? Yes, I want to know what's in the box. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, if uh, you are watching this so far on YouTube, come hang out. I stream uh, around seven Eastern. Sometimes I try to I try to announce it to so join Discord. That's usually where I announce it or on Twitter. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna switch it over to this one. Let's still play my YouTube music. Probably not. Nope. Okay, now it's just silent. That's This is awkward. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Um, or drop a follow if you're over on Twitch. And I will see you in the next stream. Bye.